everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is really exciting because I just got this baby in the mail. This is the new Too Faced Chocolate Bar Bonbons palette which comes out December 8th and I got the opportunity to try it out before it actually comes out so I'm really excited that I got my hands on this. This will be a review and swatch video. And sort of like a first impression since I did just get it, but I have already played with it. I already just did my makeup using this palette, so I'm super excited and I will be doing tutorials using this because I'm just so ecstatic that I got to try this out. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So this is the third chocolate bar palette that Too Faced has come out with. They have the first original chocolate bar palette and then they have the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. So now this one is bonbons and I'm pretty sure this one is going to be the same price as those which are um, I think $49. So not that bad. You get 16 shades that are matte and shimmer and is a good variety. And also, this releases December 8th on Too Faced.com. When you get the palette, this is the box it comes with, which is really cute. And inside the box is a little pamphlet of eyeshadow looks that you can get using this palette. And then this is the actual Too Faced palette. It's so cute. It is light pink. And it has the little hearts all over it and it says chocolate bonbons. And then this is the back of the palette. Also the back of the box has the shades on here. I'm covering the mirror so that I don't blind you guys. But this is what the palette looks like when you open it up. I'll have a close up of this palette so that you guys can actually see the shadows up close. I also posted swatches and close-up pictures on my Instagram so follow me on Instagram which is kcb23 if you didn't know that so that you guys can check out the pictures. It looks like there are four for sure matte shades in here and then two matte shades that have a little bit of glitter in them and then the rest range from satin to like a metallic finish which is really really awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So this first shade right here is Almond Truffle and it's a really like almost like a taupey brown. Second shade on here is Cashew Chew. And this is a really nice like light um it's a light pink, almost shimmery. It's like a satin finish. The next shade is Dark Truffle and this is probably the only one that I'm slightly disappointed with because it's really not as pigmented as I would like it to be, but this is definitely a satin finish and it's a dark brown. The next shade is the long shade on the palette. This one is Satin Sheets and it's a beautiful like champagne like satin finish color. It's beautiful. Next one is Cotton Candy, also a satin finish, and it's a really nice like bubblegum pink. Next we have Pecan Praline, which is a nice like ash, ash grayish brown, but it's also a matte finish, which is really nice. Next shade is Cafe Oulate. I don't think I'm saying that right, but it's just a really nice like silver, like a taupe silver. The next shade is a hot pink shade, and this is called Totally Fetch, which is awesome. And this one is a matte. Actually, no, this is a satin. The next shade is Sprinkles. I don't know if you can see that right here. And it is a beautiful, like, light pink with some shimmer. The next shade is Bordeaux, and this one is a really nice chocolatey brown with a little bit of red undertone. And this is a matte finish. The next shade is Earl Grey. This is like a slate gray color, and this has a satin finish. Probably one of my favorite shades in this palette. This is Molasses Chip and it is gorgeous. This is more of like a metallic finish and I don't know how to explain this color. It's probably like a nice coppery chocolatey bronze color. It's just really pretty. The next shade is Mocha and this one is a medium brown shade and it's a matte. The next shade is Malted and this one is a deeper brown but this has some pink shimmer in it and I want to say this is a matte finish with a little bit of glitter. This next shade is Black Current, and this is a really pretty plum color that has a satin finish and it has some pink glitter in it. Finally, the last shade in this palette is Divinity, and it is also the strip shade 
which is larger than the rest. And this is a really nice matte cream with a little bit of shimmer. I want to say this is matte. Um, it might be a little satin finish, but it sort of comes out matte to me. These are these swatches on my hand. How gorgeous are these colors? For the most part, they all are very like buttery feeling. Some of the mattes can be a little dry. The one that I don't like so far is this one, just because you have to really work to get the color payoff with this one. At least that's what it seems like. Um, maybe with a primer it'll show up a little bit better, but the rest of them are pretty, pretty good. This palette smells like chocolate, like all of their chocolate products, like the bronzer and the other chocolate bar palettes. It does smell really good and it makes me want to eat it, but I'm not going to, obviously. So that was my little first impression swatch review video of this palette. Also, I wanted to mention really quickly that this little booklet that it comes with that gives you ideas is really helpful. I actually used this first one right here to create the eye look that I'm wearing right now and that one is using molasses chip which is that beautiful color I was talking about right here all over the lid with mocha in the crease which is this one right here. No, this one down here is mocha and then Bordeaux which is this one uh, to deepen the crease and that's pretty much it. I also use satin sheets which is right up here for the inner corners and my brow bone. It's really pretty and these things are so easy to follow so I just wanted to mention that really quickly. If you want to see specific tutorials using this palette, maybe the eye look that I have on right now or something a little bit more fun with more like pops of color, definitely let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you are going to get this palette when it releases. I'll have all the information on this palette down below in case you missed it or in case I forgot to talk about anything in particular. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Ipsy OS or Ipsy Open Studio. They are the ones that gave me the opportunity to try this palette out before it was released and I'll also have information about Ipsy Open Studio down below. If you are a beauty creator, it's pretty much free to sign up so I would definitely do that. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Follow me on all my social medias, I'll have them right over here, but definitely follow me on Instagram so you guys can see the up, up close pictures and swatches of this palette. I'm really excited to play with this, I know this is going to be a favorite of mine and I just can't believe that I got to try this. And I'm actually thinking of getting the other chocolate bar palettes just because of how great this one is so far. But yes, if you had to choose between the two chocolate bar palettes that are already released, which one would you recommend? Let me know down below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.